production, pharmaceutical or any kind of other production, which is challenged every day with the task to improve the process, maybe with speed, lower costs, less wastes. But they have to maintain the quality or even improve it while doing that. So this is what we will speak about today, about an idea or not just an idea about technology where we combined two processes together, got a bunch of advantages out, and then also reduced a lot of risk associated with the process. And we will actually speak about production process, uh, packaging process in pharma, bottle filling process. But before we go there, uh, before we have a look what's really wrong there uh, today, uh, just a quick intro of Senzum, uh, the company. So Senzum comes from Slovenia. We're located in Ljubljana and we are 70 people dedicated just for quality inspection system in pharma. Today we are more or less global, going from east to west. We have solutions in Japan, China, in India, Middle East, Europe and US. So we are everywhere and our main product is really automatic visual inspection of tablet, capsules and soft gels. Usually our systems are placed into bulk production or where they make tablets after tablet press, after capsule filler. And the products are then inspected so the good quality products are sent to packaging. But that's not always the case. Quite often also packaging process is responsible for quality of the products they package. So we get requests to improve the processes quite often. And especially for bottle filling, this was very strong indication that there, there's help needed. So what's really wrong with the bottle packaging at the moment? Nothing is really wrong, but they have some strong challenges that we have to and we try to overcome. You will find two kinds of technologies in bottle filling. The first one, slat counter, that we see on the picture, is kind of uh, dying off. You don't see that much anymore, but it's a really fast counter, which is based on mechanical counting. So what you really do is you have to ensure that every single cavity in that big format part is filled with the exactly one product. And if that is the case, you have very fast and accurate counting. Now, if not all pockets are filled, then we have a problem already. Because of the format parts, because of this risk of, of miscounts, the new technology kind of overcame these slat counters. And the more newer technology are so-called electronic counters. These ones you see every, every day in, in packaging environment, in pharma. You recognize them by these vibrator plates on top. In general, they are much lower speed as the ones we have seen before, the slat counters. That's why you often also see them more in line, uh, in parallel, just to get that throughput that the sled counters offered. But on the other hand, they are like much more flexible because we don't have those format parts anymore. And they, we actually do the counting. We don't, we don't just hope the pockets are filled. The system actually counts every single product. But there, but this new technology brought some challenges. Uh, and let's have a look what these are. I said at the beginning, you recognize them by these vibrator plates on top. Why are, why are there these vibrator plates there? What we have to provide is single layer of product, single line. So the products then fall one by one into the counter and we can count them accurately. And the counter actually is consists of very easy technology. It's the green box on the picture is kind of uh, light emitting diode. And there's a yellow box which receives the light. Now, if the object comes in between, the light is interrupted and we can know that something passed it. Actually, we see this kind of technology every day. Maybe just yesterday, maybe you have seen a, a movie on TV where somebody was stealing a precious vase from a museum and then there were like lasers there. And if he, if he would interrupt the, the laser, the alarm would go off and sorry for the expression, the sheet would hit the fan, right? But now here, we actually want the interrupts uh, because the interrupts, tells us about the count, the counts, how many products are going into the bottle. But we are not just counting interrupts. We are also measuring how long the product goes through the sensor. This is a problem because the object, our product, doesn't always have the same orientation. It could be like 
uh, orientated in a way that the falling time is long or short. Like on the picture, we have a very short falling time. And this variation is important for us to get this accurate counting. But there is still a problem. What if we have a bottle filling with defective products like on the picture, like a half product, broken tablet, just a cap from a capsule? In this case, the counter will still count as one product. So we have a problem. We are putting in the defects, but we are counting them as a product. One more case, for example, if two together fall through the sensor, we see this as one product. Again, countability problem. So we have three problems here. Actually, there's a third one I haven't mentioned yet, but first two is countability because of the defects or because the product starts to fall together through the sensor. And the second one, because of the quality. Third problem that I haven't mentioned yet, after products are counted, there's still a flap and the product can get stuck on the flap, doesn't go into the bottle. So even though we correctly counted, we still don't get the correct count in the bottle. So we are struggling with three problems which all relate to quality or countability. And this is where in Senzo we try to help. Electronic counter supplies already gave a first, a first solution for that, a first uh, at least partial solution. So what they did is on the, this vibrator plate, they put a camera there just to observe if there are any broken tablets. If you have a look at, at the picture, there are two outlined tablets there. Now, those two outlined tablets, as you can see them, if you check from close, they are faced differently toward the camera. What does it mean? The camera has absolutely no clue where the, the capsule is or the tablet is turned on the side. Are we measuring thickness? Are we measuring width? So the camera is able to find bro half broken defects, but not if it's missing maybe 10, 20%. So we did reduce the problem but we did not eliminate it. Also in this case, let's assume that those two products there are defective ones and camera saw them. So what happens is that the products still fall through the sensor, get counted, get into the bottle. But what we know is in which bottle these defected products went. So what we do is we reject the bottle. What do we have to do then? Well, we can't just put that bottle back on the counter filler because we also put the defect back. If there are 100 products in the bottle, we don't want to throw 99 away because of one defect. To save that, we have to empty those, those bottles on the table, manually find the defects, remove them, and put the good ones back on the counter to really get that yield back, back on track. Another thing for, for which is a minus in this case, in this kind of solutions with vision is if defect is, is not facing toward the camera, obviously the camera will not see it. So all these challenges, the three I mentioned is countability, quality, and also possibility, possibility of miscount after everything was accurately counted. We have been getting a lot of requests for improvement. And like I said, we do automatic visual inspections for tablet capsules and soft gels. And this is a kind of process which is between the bulk in production and between the packaging. We checked whether can we really combine the two processes and get this improvement going. So what we did really is not much. <laughs> I'm not happy to say that, but we didn't do much because our so solutions have been very good counters for 15, 20 years now. In this case, our solution is called Spine, is doing 100% inspection, checks every single product from all sides. We are doing 18 pictures of every single product. Our solutions have accurate counting online forever since they have been developed. So an another thing is all these inspection solutions also have sorting in place. So you can remove individual products that are defected. That means the solution already has manipulation in place that can handle with every single tablet or capsule. So the only thing we had to do is this bottle filling power where you really put in 30, 60, 100 products per bottle. So only a small portion would add it, which, which then ha will address all the three challenges that I listed before. This is a very short, very, very basic presentation of the idea. I will not go into detail, but on the top, you can see that that cylinder products are held with vacuum. 
and we're taking the product past the camera where the pictures are taken. So we analyze the pictures and based on what we find, we can then decide whether it's good or defective. We now know what is defective product and what is, what is uh, a good one. So the next step is rejection of all defective products. We are not even speaking bottle filling yet. Bottle filling comes later. Now we are just removing the defective products out, which can cause miscounts with the bottle filling. So the next step, we remove the defects and only then we go to the bottle filling process. We repeat the counting. Do you see the yellow boxes on the picture? Those are actually the same optical counters as with normal electronic sensors. So we already know the count from the cameras, but now we are just repeating it, but only on good products and products are neatly organized. So now we cannot have two products falling through the sensor and doing miscount anymore. We don't get that problems that typical conventional electronic counters have. So what did we really do? So the first thing is we remove the defects out. So we have less rejected bottles. We are improving the yield. So this is already one of the problems solved. The next one is we have double counting, not just double counting. We are counting when products are in controlled position. So we are not having the challenge of accuracy of, uh, of bottle filling anymore. The third step is we can handle every single product. You, you see there are like capsules on the picture. There are eight in line. This doesn't mean we can put only eight, 16 or 24 per bottle. No. If you see the two outline capsules, we can control the manipulation of every single one. The two one that are outlined, one could go to bottle A and the other one could go to bottle B. So we are really have full control whether we want 30, 31, 32 products per bottle, maybe 50, 100, 500, doesn't matter. Any count that is required. Another thing that we did with combining these two processes is we don't struggle with that reliable feeling of very small product. One last thing, but not the, the least one, is less material handling. So what does happen in normal production? Well, you inspect the product in bulk production, you send it to the storage room, you release it to the storage room, you send it to pack packaging, you empty it to the uh, electronic counter, there's vibrator already already stress on the material, there, there are flaps, there are, there's falling, so you have a lot of handling of the material. Maybe the bins in the storage are huge IBCs, a lot of pressure on the product. So all those things make your product less quality because the highest quality of product is the second after inspection. And you want the, the route, the, the path from, from inspection to the patient mouth as short as possible. So here we removed a lot of steps in between and reduced the risk that can happen after inspection when the product is the highest quality. Not to mention, of course, we are reducing amount of uh, cleaning rooms because we only have one machine instead of so of two. Uh, so our technology is called Spine Fiber. Spine as our standard solution for inspection and Fiber as the two first letters of filling bottles. It's a high capacity uh, packaging unit which inspects products and then fills only good products into the bottles, uh, ensuring the highest quality uh, for the patients.